I think in this episode we find out that all of Carnarthy's Roost is essentially just the drug capital of all of the Elder Scrolls Online. This place is just full of drugs and that's about it. <laughs> this, the whole thing is infested with drugs. Hello everyone and welcome back to Nightwind Archer. Let's continue our adventure from where we were last time. Last time we met an unfortunate family that went through a lot and unfortunately they, um, the whole plantation is pretty much done. There are no farmers here any, anymore and you can see all the details from that last episode. But uh, hopefully things will be better this time so let's see what uh, we are gonna do today. So let's use our zone guide, see if we can tell us where we need to go next. Aha, so the next place we are going to go is we're going to go to this uh, location and it's called Hazak's Hollow. And there is a quest there, we'll pick up that quest. I believe it's called Moon Sugar Medicament. But on the way there, what is this? This is also Moon Sugar to this is just another place where it can be picked up. So let's head over there and pick up this quest and see what this Hazox Hollow is all about. Off. Oh, and before I do that, uh, we do have some rewards to claim. Level 9 rewards. So let's go ahead and claim that. Ah, perfect. Well, this is exactly what I was looking for. I do. I am going with dual wield now. Uh, but once I reach level 15, I will get a bow um, and I will use a front bar and a back bar. So let's confirm this. Let's get more stamina. And we do have one point to spend. Let's go ahead and morph teleport strike. Uh, converts to a stamina ability if we morph it to ambush. So let's go ahead and use that. It's also gonna grant us empower and minor berserk, increasing their damage taken by 5% with minor vulnerability and also um, increasing the damage of your heavy attacks against monsters by 123% and your damage done by 5%. So let's go with Ambush. So um, using, so, so the idea with that move is to like sneak up on them, hit them in the back, uh, cause them to get stunned and then use heavy attack on them for massive damage. So anyway, let's go ahead and head over to Hazox Hollow. All right, here we are in uh, at this quest uh, marker location and we can see there's a little encampment here a little place where oh wait a minute this is the cross tree bandits uh, we met those guys last episode they are no good they are deep into the drug trade um, and actually they were taking advantage of some local farmers to kind of blackmail them into doing you know some things they shouldn't be doing so uh, I really don't like these cross tree rogues and bandits. All right, so let's see what's this quest marker. What does it say here? There's a note. A young Khajiit wandered into camp last night, said he's looking for Hazak. If anyone asks where I am, I'm dragging this fool off to Hazak's hollow. He'll see the boss before his head and body part ways. It looks like there was a Khajiit that was here to meet the boss of this clan. Continue reading. We spotted Aldmiri on the beach. If you need me, send a runner up and around the hill above Hazak's Hollow. Double back to the dock near the entrance. Okay. So we need to investigate this place and see where they took that Khajiit. Moon Sugar Medicament. And you know what? What do you know? Has, to, has something to do with Moon Sugar yet again. Um, the whole, this whole place is just shrouded in drugs. You know, I never really noticed how much drugs are on Canarthi's Roost. The whole thing is just a giant drug operation. Who is Zaluna? Zulana. Have you seen Kari? He's missing. Who's Kari? Zulana's son. When his father succumbed to Skuma, Kari swore vengeance upon the smugglers responsible. This one tried to stop him from going by himself, but Kari wouldn't listen. Okay, this is interesting. So her husband died due to a drug overdose, and now her son is trying to get retribution on the basically the people that dealt the drugs, which is, I think, these cross-tree people. 
Right, I found a note about a young Khajiit taken to Hazak's Hollow. Yes, that's Gari. Please, you must find him. It's all Zulana has left. I'll find your son. Zulana heard many things in Mistral. Hazak leads the skooma peddlers within a nearby cove. Its entrance is on the beach across from Cat's Eye Key. And who is this Hazak? A vile skooma peddler. Hazak destroys families and brings great warriors low with his filth. Yeah, I, I figured that much. So, what exactly happened to your husband? He hurt his back in a terrible accident. He took skooma to relieve the pain, and it came to both sustain and enslave him. After years of its youth, he withered to a shell of his former self. I understand. And tell me more about your son. Gary hasn't learned that fear and hatred cloud judgment. Zulana said he would be foolish to seek revenge, but he's a boy, and they have more important things to do than listen to their mothers, huh? <laughs> of course. Well, I already know what skooma is, but I'll ask it. What is skooma? Skooma is distilled from moon sugar, which is sacred to we who worship the moons and stars. But those who use skooma for pleasure quickly become slaves to its visions. Scum like Hazek profit from this addiction. I understand. All right, thank you. Since I already know what moon sugar is, you know, but um, maybe it's helpful just to hear the dialogue. I just like listening to the dialogue of other uh, NPCs to see what their opinion and viewpoint on skooma is. Okay, so we have a Fist of the Thalmor, so he's a good guy, apparently. Ah, further along the beach here, this is where we'll find the entrance to Hazak's Hollow, which is off in this direction. Also, do I have any more inventory that I can equip? I've kind of, of course, <laughs> I keep forgetting. I just get this stuff and then forget to equip it. Okay, so I've changed up my weapons a bit. Now I have these weapons. I haven't equipped them before. So I have Rat Splitter on the offhand and Prophet Stagger on the main hand. And also I still do not have any helmet equipped. So let's go ahead and equip that helmet. It looks really dumb though. So I'm gonna just hide that helmet. I don't want us to see that. That looks just ridiculous. Um, so I'm gonna go to appearance hats, hide your helm. I'm gonna sign that right there and go to the quick menu and boom there it is okay so let's go inside oh boy so it looks like oh geez it looks like there's dead skeletons hanging from the rocks in the ceiling up there let's continue off this way wow this place is amazing to see such a crazy place inside a cave wow that's incredible it's beautiful, too. All right, looks like we're going to have to fight through these guys. Oh, lost. Like, who's that? I think I found him. At least he's not dead yet. Be gone, bandit. I'll never join Hazak. Look, I'm not a bandit. I'm actually looking for you. Your mother asked me to rescue you. Mother sent you? It is good she can't see me trussed up like a sheep. Uh, the bandits were more challenging than I expected. He could have killed a few when she scouted the cave, but no, I must always be tested. <laughs> I really don't think she was testing you. But... What do you mean, she scouted the cave? You thought her a poor mewling widow? Ha! Mother is not entirely what she seems. She warned me to wait and watch before approaching Hazak's Hollow. I have much to learn. Oh, that's surprising. What is going on here? I sought to avenge my father's memory, but was captured by bandits. Mother saw my capture and sent you here to assist. Next, you untie me, and we kill Hazak for his crimes. Simple, you see? Well, that's not why I came here. I came here to free you, not kill Hazak. 
Then when you free me, I'll fight Hazak alone and will likely die. Hazak will poison more families with skooma, another will swear revenge, be captured by bandits, and wait for death in this cave. Or we can kill Hazak. Still simple, yes? <sighs> Alright, fine. If you're dead set on it, then I'll help you kill Hazak. Good. Now, untie my bonds so we can look for the key to Hazak's lair. Swish slash poke, done. Alright, let's untie you. Arke's beard, she's a looker. Who's he saying that to? Uh, I'm free! And in your debt. Absolutely, let's do this. Let's get this Hazak. There we go. What's over here? Uh, there we go. Ah, so I got the key. So that's the key to Hazak's lair. Let's get here and we're gonna take down the drug lord. Ah, here he is. I'm gonna just sneak up on him. You don't have the will for this. But I do come. Got him. All right, and I got a necklace. Take this. Ooh, and there's a really good lore book here. No reason to worry. H, which is probably Hazak. Apologies for the lapse. Our suppliers grew suspicious. Don't fret over much. The appropriate mouths will be fed. We recovered your wayward bird. Its belly ran afoul of the storm, but we think it can be saved. If it is not in your hands by the next full moons, we are discovered and you should cease correspondence. R. Who is R? I, I suppose R is his supplier. Okay, so it seems this is the supplier that gives him his, uh, you know, stuff. All right, so since we stopped Hazak, let's get out of here and return to, uh, Zulana. Here we go. Just outside the cave. Ah, here they are. Ah, she does not look like a crying mother to me. Look at her. She's got a different outfit and everything. What have you done? Kari and I killed Hazak. And you have done what I could not. My husband now rests with the ancestors, free of the skooma enslaving him. Wait, 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 wait. Wait. Hazak was your husband? Kari killed his own father? When Hazak embraced skooma with more affection than he did with me, I gave him every chance to claw his way back. But skooma peddlers <laughs> are slavers of the mind itself. When Hazek turned his addiction into Enterprise, there was no return. Wow, they tricked me. <laughs> How did you kill all these smugglers? Poisoned arrows to stun, a blade to finish. I spoke to each as they lay frozen on the dock, before adding crescent moons to their throats. These unclawed shaveskins had it coming for pulling Kari's father into their fold. Well, why didn't you help kill Hazak? I note the ardor of the moons within you and sent you to aid Kari. That is help, yes? But I would know. How did my son fare against Hazak? Did he fight bravely as he was taught? <sighs> okay, well, I'm just letting you guys know. Obviously, when I killed Hazak, I'm pretty sure I did that completely alone. But let's give her something to be proud of her son for, I guess. Um... Kari fought well. We brought down Hazak together. Then Kari learns to stand with allies rather than on his own. He shows me he is ready. With time and training, he will honor his ancestors. Who are you two, exactly? Ajir Trajijazeri. We justly take by force. At Two Moons Dance, we study the thin line between justice and vengeance. We train so we will always know the difference. Enjoy your life, Walker. You never know when those you love can slip away. 
All right. Uh, thank you very much. Well, that was fun and interesting. Sorry. You did what mother could not. I did what I knew to be right, to restore our family's honor. You've proven worthy of our name. Do you understand? Yes, mother. I'll dance beneath the two moons, as you've taught me. Then we must complete your training. Yeah. Whoa. That was cool. Wow, so that was a very interesting story. They basically tricked me into thinking that their dad passed away. Um, and that, you know, it was like a revenge mission on a drug lord. Turns out the drug lord is their, that his, their family member. And I think they meant he passed away in a spiritual sense. Like, they are dead to him, in a sense, but he's not literally dead. And then we went and, you know, Zari killed his own dad, which was... Whoa, that was a twist. Love those little twists. So let's go ahead and check out this little spot right here. It looks like it's called Riddhar's Solas. Um, let's see what is there. I think it's just a, a little place to, you know, enjoy the view. But who knows? Maybe there's more to it. All right, it looks like I'm getting close here. Hmm, so there's some thunderbugs. Let's get the map marker off. Oops, accidentally double clicked that. Ah, and level 10. Level 10 rewards. Let's go ahead and get level 10. I can now use the dungeon finder. Um, I will be doing dungeons, but only in so much that, um, there's my first ultimate skill. Um, I'll only be doing dungeons, uh, if they are in the zone that I am, and there's a good story that goes along with them. And I will likely do them solo as well, for the, for the, you know, for the content, I'll do them solo. Okay, and uh, you know, this place, it's just, um, I don't know, it looks like just an old Khajiiti ruin. Not much going on here. There is a note on the ground though. Maybe the note has more to it. There we go. Oh, there's another weapon. I might as well equip that. And I just got from the uh, a medium armor uh, chest piece. Finally, a medium armor chest piece. And this is going to be a part of the trainee set. Oh, wait, this is already trainee, so that doesn't actually help. But still, it's higher level. I now have two pieces of the trainee set. I have max health and max magicka. The next, if I can get one more piece of the trainee, that will be... Uh, max stamina that I'm gonna get as a bonus finally it looks like my gear actually all goes together now <laughs> that's good it looks like it kind of matches um, let's read this letter that was left the only fish that what what do you say I didn't catch that all right, let's see, Slaver, S Salvager's Torn Journal. Oh goodness, I think that's this woman here. On arrival, they weren't badly injured, but all suffered terribly from the fisherman's thirst. We nursed them back to health and they've agreed to help search the wreckage for their friends. Entry five, so many things washed up on the shore. This one cannot count the foodstuffs and other supplies. We even stumbled across several crates packed with tiny glass vials. Who can guess what they hold? Potions, perhaps? Geraria will know, it is certain, and she always pr pays a fair price. Tomorrow we travel to Mistral with our bounty and newfound friends. Perhaps there they will find more survivors from their fleet. Who can say? Well, it looks like she found a bunch of washed up shipwreck, shipwreck material, um, but uh, they ended up just getting, you know, taken advantage of. I just found recipe nut brown ale. 
Let's go ahead and learn that recipe. Oh, and let's go ahead and use the uh, writing stamina. There we go. Now, I just learned how to cook a particular thing. Ah, baked potato. Increase your max stamina by 6915. It looks like I can create one piece of food, and that is a max stamina of food. But you know what? That's not bad because increasing max stamina increases DPS if you use stamina based skills. So let's craft one of those. And there we go. I have one baked potato, baked potato to eat. So let's go ahead and eat that baked potato. Uh, right here. And there we go. And now my stamina is much higher, which means I'm going to deal a lot more damage. Well, I think that'll do it for this episode. We have um, really found out. I think in this episode we find out that. All of Canarthi's Roost is essentially just the drug capital of all of the Elder Scrolls Online. This place is just full of drugs and that's about it. <laughs> this, the whole thing is infested with drugs. Anyway, uh, thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed this episode. I appreciate every single one of you and I absolutely love it when someone comments on the video. Really makes my day. Thank you all for watching and I'll see you all next time.